Well, some patients at UC Health are getting a second chance at life, all thanks to a robot. UC Health, University of Colorado's hospital, now offering robotic kidney transplants to patients with a body mass index over 40. These are people who would be ineligible for a transplant um, without this kind of technology. So UC Health's robotic kidney transplant surgeon lead, Dr. Thomas Pashak, is joining us now. That's a very impressive title. Yeah, you know when it takes like five seconds to read a title, you know it's impressive. You know somebody's important. Yeah. Can you tell us about who, how this is working and who it's reaching that was being left out of transplants yeah. before? Yeah, like you said, uh, patients with a BMI uh, over 40 are usually denied access to transplant um, because of higher surgical complications. Mm -hmm. And so we, and it's really a technical surgical problem, um, and we're able to solve that with using the robot. It allows us to do surgery on various body shapes and sizes safely. Tell us a little more about this process. I think people who might be familiar with the surgery we have now are curious to learn how this is different. Um, the incisions are much smaller. So in a typical uh, kidney transplant, we make about an eight to 10 inch incision uh, and put the kidney in and sew it to the blood vessels down in the pelvis. With the robot, we're able to use much smaller incisions, about a two inch incision around the belly button and put the kidney in, use the robotic arms to sew it in place. Wow. So um, no matter what the shape or size of the person, the robot doesn't care because we're actually operating on the inside. Wow. How many more people do you think this could reach and what was happening to patients when they weren't eligible for a transplant? Yeah, so uh, if, the, if they did, were disqualified because of high BMI, they were asked to lose weight to come back uh, once they achieved a goal weight, but that's virtually impossible for people on dialysis. They're hooked up to a machine and you know always chronically fatigued. So. Um, they would try to lose weight mostly unsuccessfully. So we estimate, you know, about 25% of the uh, population is morbidly obese. And so we can extend that into those with end stage renal disease. And, um, you know, we could, have, we could help about a quarter of the people on dialysis. Right wow. Now. As you're talking about exactly who this could help, I'm curious, other than the fact that it's, of course, a robot that's performing this surgery, why is this such a breakthrough? Doctors are very excited about this. Um, it, it, it has the potential to really change tra kidney transplant right. in the future for everyone. Um, the smaller incisions, you know, are less pain. The patients that we've done it on so far haven't required any pain medications. And so that's much different than what we see with open transplant. There is a technical learning curve, though. It does take a while for the surgeon to, you know, get comfortable of uh, doing this operation. I was just actually, my next question was, how many people have actually gone through this procedure and, and what have you learned ab about it? Yeah, we spent about two to three years preparing for this, um, you know, using um, models and practicing and practicing because the stakes with transplant, you know, we have an organ and we need to get it in quickly. And so about two years of training. Uh, we've done five patients now, and we're hoping to really expand that over the next several years. For people who might be watching this right now, we just have a little bit of time left. What is, how can they find out if they meet the criteria for this? Who do they reach out to? Where can they go to learn a little bit more about the operation? Yeah, so uh, the UC Health Transplant Center website uh, has a link in there and a phone number. So that's, um, just call the clinic and um, you'll be seen in our clinic. It's new and getting the word out that that is an option because, you know, it could be life changing for yeah. someone. And life saving for a lot of people yeah. as well. Yeah, it's, you know, um, we, I don't ever want to deny anyone access to a life saving transplant. And this gives us the opportunity to yeah. transplant a lot more people. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank Dr. you Dr. Thomas so much. Bishak. Yeah, very much appreciate your time. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me.